Hey everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith. Today I'm sharing my very last process video using the Big Story 2 devotional from Illustrated Faith. So today I'm going to be in 1 Peter, and as you can see I haven't decided which Bible I want to create in, uh, but I'm going to be in 1 Peter chapter 2, journaling about peacemakers as we trace the theme of mediator through the big story of the Bible. So I'm working on the third prompt in the first session of big story too. I think for what I want to do today I am going to go ahead and use my interleaved journaling Bible so I'll put the illustrating Bible to the side because I want a bunch of room to be able to play. I'm thinking about using um, a gloss spray today maybe some distress oxide spray and then I'm so tickled that Shauna made a huge big story alpha stamp. This is probably my favorite font and today I want to use the Big Story Alpha Stamp that comes with the Big Story 2 Devotional Kit with this big, huge story Alpha Stamp. So that'll be fun to play around with. And then I'll just be reaching for things from the kit as I create, most likely. I definitely want to play with the stencil today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. For my page today, the color scheme I had in mind was the colors that are in that roll of washi tape over to the left. So I want to use like a sienna color, a light pink, and a dark blue on my page today. And I'm going to put my Bible mat underneath my page here so that I can use the gloss spray with this stencil. And in my experience, there's a lot of overspray when using these, um, so I'm going to use a bunch of Bible mats. I'm testing the color here first because this was one of the newer ones I had received. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is a little more yellow than I was hoping for. I'm not sure if I want to use this. So I played around with different methods of spraying it, like maybe if I used uh, droplets instead of just a big spray, then it would be a little darker. It wasn't, and I ended up getting some overspray into my Bible page, and I was like, well, I guess that decision <laughs> was made for me. So I went ahead and used some of the washi tape to hold the stencil in place uh, so that it didn't lift up and I didn't get any of the spray underneath the stencil. And that's the impression that I got, which I'm pretty pleased with. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that to the side to dry naturally. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on building my title, which is going to be Peacemaker. I have been so inspired by letterpress typography lately, and I was psyched when I saw the Big Story Alphas come out in a different size. I thought immediately, this is going to be great to play around with titles and things like that using the same font, but different sizes. It's totally going to have that letterpress type look. And so that's what I'm playing around with here. Normally, when you use letterpress, you would arrange your letters and then put them on one surface all together, ink them up, and then make the impression. Now obviously I'm not using letterpress, I'm using stamping, so I'm going to have to see what I can come up with instead. I wanted to decide which additional elements I wanted to use for my page before I put anything else down, so I'm going to grab the sticker sheet and some of these journaling spots from the Digital Ephemera from Big Story 1. So here I'm deciding on where I want my letter placement to go, and First, I'm going to start by stamping this block with some pink pigment ink. I decided to use pigment ink because it's pretty opaque and it sits on top of the page. It doesn't soak into the paper. And I wanted this to live behind the E and the A from the word piece that I'm going to stamp on top of it. The dye ink that I'll use for those letters will sit on top of this pigment ink. And because the pink ink sits on top of the page, I'm going to use my heat tool to help speed up that drying process so it doesn't smudge around or anything like that. So I'm using the grid lines on my acrylic block to make sure that my letters are all straight here. And then you can see that I have the E and the A stacked on top of one another. I'm going to put my Bible mat underneath my page so I get a solid... Um, or a sturdy surface for stamping. And I inked up all my letters, but then at the last minute decided I want this little E and the little A to be a different color. So I went ahead and used this Color Theory ink and got those letters down. There was a little bit of over stamping here too, which I'll cover up, I'm not worried about that. So I left the P, C, and E in place and then put the little E and the little A in there. So they were lined up in the correct spot 
and then I removed the larger letters. I re-inked it with a darker ink and I'm going to stamp that in place on top of that pink box. So it's not dissimilar to using different size alpha stickers or alpha stamps. I'm just playing with the arrangement a little more than I used to. So I chose to go with the darker blue for the rest of my title and I'm so tickled with how this came out. This was so much fun to experiment with. So moving on, I punched a tab out of one of the stamp backers from the Big Story devotional kit packaging, and then I'm going to layer some stickers from the kit with a journaling spot. You, this is like that sienna color that's included in the washi, so sticking to that color palette. And then I'll layer some washi underneath there, and then you use this book chapter verse stamp from the Big Story 1 devotional kit. And then these little button stickers from the Big Story 2 kit are so fun to use as a finishing touch and put around the page. So I'm just going to write my journaling and have it kind of go down and around this little cluster that I have in the middle. I'm going to use some more digital ephemera from the Big Story 1 kit and then include my journaling in that box. So like I mentioned, I'm talking all about being a peacemaker. In the first part of this session, we spent a little time looking at the ceremonial law in Leviticus and the priesthood in Leviticus 16, and how the institution of the priesthood points to Christ, our mediator and our high priest. So in the third session of this theme mediator, the third journaling prompt of this theme, we look at our role in the big story. I wrote, priests represented the people before God and also God before the people. As believers and participants in the big story, we are a royal priesthood called to be peacemakers, reconciling man to man and man to God. 1 Peter 2.9 says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. So I outlined my verse here, I'm going to add some finishing touches around my letters here, and that's going to do it. If you're looking for some more Big Story inspiration, be sure to check out the tag if underscore Big Story on Instagram. I've loved looking through those and seeing how each of you guys are working through Revival Camp this summer. It's still not too late to join us. I've got Big Story 2 linked down in the video description for you if you want to check it out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you soon.